very good defense. They go come in, they probably look at the box. Um, they have very good corners. They have very good D-line. Very, they're very good all across the board, and they're a very physical team. Is it is the message now? I mean, obviously Auburn did, was pretty successful at stuffing the run and, and uh, not really forcing y'all back. You still tried to run. Yeah, but is, is, is it becoming apparent that you guys are, are just going to have to throw the ball in, in, in a lot more situations? Uh, no, not at all. We, we stick to the game plan. Um, a lot of things that we do is uh, according to our game plan. We try not to, we don't go off it. We stick to our uh, strategy. You feel like as a senior that y'all's legacy still hadn't been written yet? I mean, you, you've gotten to the SEC title game, but there's still a lot out there. So when people ask what this senior class will be remembered for, do you think it's kind of what happens from here on out? Uh, this, you know, the good thing about it is, you know, there's more football to be played. And, you know, our, our, our um, season isn't over yet. It definitely is when we have uh, Kentucky coming up, and that's a uh, good team to, to play against. Um, it's just a lot more football to be played. What's your favorite? It's your final time in Sanford. What's your favorite Sanford memory in your team? Um, all of them. You know, my, first, <laughs> my favorite first game, you know, here. Uh, it wasn't my best performance personally, but it's just all of them. I love, you know, the uh, crowd, just the atmosphere running between the hedges. It's just a great feeling. Javon, you talked a little bit about, uh, you know, y'all's leadership uh, after you know, Saturday. Game. Is there anything y'all can do as far as the next time you're in that position where everything, things aren't going your way and in order to keep the focus as opposed to, you know, kind of making sort of, you know, unnecessary penalties and stuff like that is there a way leaders can kind of play into that uh, I think you know me personally I can be uh, better just affecting uh, more people you know I think you know as a leader you have a responsibility not only to affect yourself but to affect others and you know raise others to your uh, to the level that you expect or to the level that you're playing so I think I can personally be better at uh, getting those guys uh, more just you know to have a short-term memory on things you were, uh, uh, I was visiting you in Raymond, Mississippi, and you were fighting like mad that you had a bunch of classes to finish and all that kind of stuff, kind of sweating it out a little bit. Here you sit, you know, two years later. Can you look back on that trail behind you with a little bit of pride? And I, I assume the academic part of it, you, you should be getting pretty close to a degree at this point, right? Oh, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a blessing, you know, coming from that far, struggling at junior college, and now being able to have a, a tremendous degree from a tremendous uh, university like this, it's a huge honor. What, what do you know about Athens, Georgia, University of Georgia that you didn't know when you were just fighting like mad to get here? Uh, I know it's, it's a lot of character in this city, and you know the people here are very friendly. So I, I've had enjoyed these past two years here, personally. Well, just, Javon, uh, so one of the things Coach Smart said about kind of bouncing back from a loss was he talked a lot about body language that he wants to see from you, know, the seniors and the coaches. What does he mean by that? What's good body language at, at this time? Uh, body language is, you know, attacking uh, each day, trying to get better at, you know, little things and, you know, the attention to details, not dwelling in the past and just focus on the future. It's easy to say, treat it just like a win, just like any other week, but as one of the leaders on the team, do you say something to young guys? What, what do you do to, to ensure you guys bounce back the right way? Uh, just make sure those, those guys are focused uh, leading into this week against Kentucky. You know, like I said, this is a very good team that's coming in. So not only just being vocal, just leading by example as well, going out there with a work uh, mentality. Javon, um, we talked before that your nickname is Juice. Well, they also, ha Kentucky also has a whiteout. His nickname is Juice Garrett Johnson. What kind of do you need to do on Saturday to make sure that you're the best Juice on the field? <laughs> uh, I'm, you know, I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing, just trying to make plays for my team. Uh, Try and be a blocker, a physical blocker, and just try and be uh, reliable when the ball is in the air, you know. And best of luck to you know that juice on come Saturday as well. You said that you and Jake are good friends off the field too. What what sort of things do you guys do off the field that? Oh, uh, you know, we just we hang out, we talk, uh, just regular things. He come over sometimes, we hang out, cook for him, stuff like that. What do you cook for him? Uh, cook. Last time he came over, I think we had. Uh, seafood gumbo. So, wow. what would you for you as a senior go undefeated in Sanford? That's something that hasn't been happening, hasn't happened for some time. I really haven't thought about it. To be honest with you, know, like you mentioned that it's my first time, you know, thinking about that. But it, it'll feel good. It definitely feel good to know my senior campaign. We had a loss, but like I said, you know, this is a good team that's coming in. So, not really focused on a winning or losing. Just focused on getting better each day leading up to Saturday. One day in the distant future, if if you decide I want to be a coach. What what lessons would you take from Coach Smart uh, as to how to do that job? Um, you know, 
Coach Smart is such an unbelievable coach. Like, it's just his overall approach. He don't get too high at any moment, and he's not too low. He's his attention to detail is just so great, and it just it, it shows how you know great his greatness. It shows that just the attention to detail he has on everything. Like, we could come off a huge win, but he'll find you know one small play and say like this could have been a bigger play and it could have had a bigger outcome. It's just not getting too excited um, and not getting too low on things.